This is a video of a specific fix to a car audio amplifier. The model of this amplifier is a Polk DA2000.2. This should be very similar to the DA4000.4. This fix may be applicable to other Class D 12 volt amplifiers and possibly Class AB amps as well. The fix this video describes is the replacement of what I call the output resistors and capacitors. These components reside on the board just before the speaker output terminals. Symptoms may be the amp shutting itself down and feeling hot to the touch. B. Intermittent cutting out while going over bumps. C. Possibly no output. Other symptoms are smoke. Uh, this slide shows the resistors that I purchased from Mouser Electronics Online and the Mouser number and the manufacturer's number are shown there. Uh, the important things there are that it's a, a 1000 ohm 3 watt resistor. This is the label from the replacement capacitor that I bought from Mouser Electronics Online. It's a 0.47 microfarad film capacitor uh, rated at 250 volts DC. These images show the new components soldered in place. As you can probably tell, I have just enough solder skills to have gotten the job done, even though it's not pretty. To remove the old components, I turn the board upside down. Uh, clip off as much of the terminal and solder as you can with some wire cutters. Use the soldering iron to heat up the solder at one of the terminal points. Pull on the resistor from the other side until it slides out. And be careful when using a soldering iron to heat up the metal reinforcement around the hole and do not damage the board. With the old components removed, remove as much as the old solder as you can. I use both a solder sucker and a solder wick. Ideally, you will remove the solder so that the component radials will fit through the hole. Otherwise, you will have to heat up the remaining solder until you can push the components through. Hold the component in place and apply new solder to first the bottom and then the top of the board. Keep your solder tip on the new solder only. Heat it up until it melts just enough to flow down into the hole. Again, be careful not to heat the board up too much and damage it. One clue that you've done the solder correctly is that it will be a dull silver color, not a shiny. The remainder of the video is a visual of reassembly of the amp. Note the use of the thermal grease, which I spread over the areas where the manufacturer had used it. The purpose of the thermal grease is to fill any air gaps between heat producing components and the metal cooling components so that heat can be transferred away. Enjoy your repaired amplifier!